Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. Welcome back. I'm happy that you are here. If this is your first time listening, this podcast is for the aspiring entrepreneur trying to get over that hump and make things happen. But this podcast is also for anybody with a dream that wants to go forward and accomplish that dream. Now, I'm guilty of this myself. Very much so. Um, Very guilty of this a lot of times. I'm a runner. I say this a lot. You know, uh, one of my goals currently is to run a 5K within the 21 minute range. Okay, that's one of my goals. And it's been a goal that I've been after for a couple years. But here in Chicago, like I said, the weather is always off and on. So I become inconsistent. No excuses, but nonetheless, I haven't reached that goal yet, but I'm still after that goal. Yesterday, I was doing a guided run. And on the guided run, um, you know, they give you motivational talks as you're running, you know, to keep you going and keep you on pace. And one of the guys said that we look at barriers as a bad thing, right? You know, um, there are many barriers in life. There are many barriers um, in entrepreneurship. There are many barriers on the path as we try to accomplish certain things. But we look at them as bad things. And what he was saying is barriers are all a part of the process. It's part of the process because in this world, in this life, and I talked about this a lot on many episodes too, there will be barriers. There will be obstacles. There will be things that's going to be created to hold you back. That's unfortunately the way life is. And sometimes these barriers are self-imposed. Sometimes these barriers, and many times these barriers are things that we cannot control. But nonetheless, barriers are all part of the process. So as I was listening to that and I'm running stronger the best I can, you know, I'm tired. My legs are feeling heavy. You know, I'm just trying to get to the end of this run. It motivated me and I got a little bit more strength and a little bit more power and a little bit more speed towards the end of this run. Now, what does this have to do with entrepreneurship or with dream chasing? It has everything to do with it because the reality of the fact is if barriers are a part of the process, if barriers are one of those things that we can't avoid, you know, whether it's self-imposed or things that we cannot control, if barriers are one of those things that we cannot control, why do we complain so much? If we can't control it, why do we complain so much? If it's self-imposed, why do we complain so much? If we self-impose this barrier, therefore we can remove this barrier too if we put it there, right? Right? But even whether it's self-imposed or not, why do we complain so much? We need to shift our minds. And again, at the top of the episode, I said I'm guilty of this very much. We need to shift our mindsets from worrying about the barriers to focusing on our approach to the barriers. Whether it's self-imposed or whether it's something we cannot control, we need to put our focus on the process and the approach to the barrier because we see the barrier there. Like, it's not hidden in plain sight. We know the barrier is coming. Uh, Whether it's self-imposed, whether it's something we can't control, we know that barrier is there in front of us. We know that barrier is stopping us from getting to the other side. It's stopping us from reaching the finish line, from getting to our goals. We know that barrier is there. But if we focus on our approach to the barrier, then that barrier becomes a little bit smaller. It becomes a little easier to tackle and overcome, despite the fact that it's part of the process. Focus on your approach. If you know what the barrier is that stop you from purchasing a home, to stop you from getting a new car, if you know what the barrier is to stop you from getting more sales in your business, from getting more profits, if you know what the barrier is to stop you from losing weight, if you know what the barrier is to stop you from accomplishing that 21-minute 5K, if you know what those barriers are, whether it's self-imposed or things you cannot control that was there, you can control your approach to the barrier, and when you get to that barrier, you will get over it. That doesn't mean you're going to get over it the first time. That doesn't mean you're going to get over it the second time. It doesn't mean you're going to get over it the third time, but it does mean you will get over it nonetheless if you focus on the approach. Because we see that barrier. We're coming up on that barrier as we run, as we continue to work, as we continue to strive, as we continue to accomplish goal after goal. We see that barrier coming. We It's not a surprise. It's not, uh, it's, it's not popping up randomly. We know it's there, 
So if we know it's there, why don't we change our approach? Why don't we change our mindset? Why don't we change the things that we have full control over so that when that barrier gets there right in front of us, we can get over it? Yes, we might fail. Yes, we might fall. But nonetheless, we will get over these barriers in due time as long as we change our approach and as long as we respect the process and appreciate the process because every single thing is a win. I know we talked about, you know, there's no such thing as moral victories, you know, but I told you a couple couple days ago participation trophies are real I told you that a couple weeks ago I'm sorry excuse me participation trophies are real as long as you are participating actively participating in changing your mindset and changing your approach and changing your work ethic and changing your strategies you will get over that barrier and you will succeed barriers are part of the process barriers cannot be changed whether it's self-imposed or things we can't control nonetheless there's a barrier there but we can get over that barrier as long as we change our mindset as long as we change our approach as long as we continue to stretch our our minds, as long as we continue to stretch our muscles, our heart, and our spirit, as long as we lean into our faith, as long as we continue to believe in ourselves and get deeper in our conviction and what we are doing and knowing the fact that once we get over that barrier, everything is worth it. Everything is, is going to be amazing. Everything is not going to be in vain. As long as we believe these things, ladies and gentlemen, those barriers don't mean shit. Those barriers don't mean nothing to us. Those barriers cannot stop us. They are simply just that. A barrier. It does not mean it's the end. It does not mean that you have to turn around. It does not mean that you have to be stopped. It literally just means it's a barrier. And barriers are meant to be overcome. Barriers are meant to be torn down. Barriers are meant for us to go through them, not to turn us back. So that motivated me on my guided run yesterday. I got through the run. It motivated me on my journey to break this 21-minute 5K. It motivated me to continue to do what I got to do to accomplish my goals and my business currently. And I hope it continues to motivate you, ladies and gentlemen, and inspire you. Whatever that barrier may be, you know what those barriers are. You know if those barriers are things that you self-impose. You know if those barriers are things that's a result of things you cannot control. You know these things in your life, in your business, in your entrepreneurial journey. You know these things. And because you know these things, you know that they are there. And because you know that they are there, that means you can change your approach. Whatever that may be. Maybe you got to pray more. Maybe you got to stretch more. Maybe you got to work out more. Maybe you got to learn more. Maybe you got to work just a little harder. Maybe you got to lean deeper into your faith. Maybe you got to do things a little differently. You know what you have to do to accomplish these goals in your personal life, in your business life, in your entrepreneurial life. You know what these things are. Only you have the answer to those things. And because only you have the answer, only you can change your approach and your strategy as you come up on these barriers so that you can get over them. I don't care how many times you tried to get over this barrier and you failed. I don't care how many times you tried to get over this barrier and it stopped you momentarily. I don't care because the reality is that barrier can be overcome. You can get over it and you can get to the other side and you will reach the finish line. That is a fact. So if this podcast has benefited you in any way, shape, or form, ask for two things as always. Number one, pass, please leave a five-star review. And number two, pass it on to a friend who may benefit from it as well. Have a great day, everybody. Let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. And as you come up on these barriers, change your approach. And I promise you, you will get over it. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next week.